Hello, my soccer universe. Three tournaments finished yesterday and finally I got the time today to get rid of the baggage. And yeah, yeah, I thought I'll do a very quick review of the Women's World Cup. I had yesterday in the video in the final already some parting thoughts, but I thought I'm gonna do a little bit more on that. On the back you can see the final result of the tournament. We have US, Netherlands, Sweden, England in that order and I'm actually quite happy that I have the jerseys of these from the at least from the manufacturers. Right, of course those are not except for the US jersey, those are not women's jerseys. The US jersey is a women's jersey and yes in the jersey review I said I will get the jersey of the um, team that won since I already have the US jersey and I like these so much better I probably won't I was actually hoping that the Dutch team or English team or whatever wins French team, then I would have a case. <laughs> Sorry for that. I did this well. I was doing the jersey review and I watched the England shorts. Uh, there were so many great jerseys, which is one of the positives uh, of this World Cup. Really, the women's jerseys at this World Cup uh, were better than most of the men's jerseys. This to me personally was a big, big plus. But let's start off a little bit of a few negatives. Um, from what I get at the organization, sometimes was not all that great. I also thought the ticketing, you know, you couldn't get tickets on the day of the match at the stadium when there were still clearly spots available, especially in the first round. Um, crowds were kind of thin. I mean, unless the US and the Dutch were playing, which uh, coincidentally were the teams that made it to final, of course the French. There were uh, many spots available and there were some towns that usually had good crowds. I think Grenoble was one of these. Uh, Rennes, I think, was usually also uh, well filled. Uh, but then other towns like Nice or Montpellier especially where well, it looked boring. I was also a little bit disappointed that, you know, uh, for men's soccer the English fans turn up for women's soccer, not so much. so crowds and that organization was a little bit a downer. I also thought that despite the World Cup being really competitive, you know, there were still teams in there that were not maybe quite cutting it yet. I'm thinking Jamaica, of course, Thailand, uh, to a certain extent, Korea. Um, but you know, very, very few to be honest. So uh, that was brings us then to a positive that you know the level of play I think 24 teams are about the right size at the moment um, and if you would expand it I think you would have to add a few uh, European teams in order to keep the level high um, which of course is never gonna happen uh, we know that uh, and the last negative of course was especially in the group stage VAR I'm a big proponent of VAR but the way VAR was handled um, during that World Cup, uh, it got so nitpicky and so tedious. It needs to be looked at. Uh, you cannot, with all the goalkeeping and the handballs and the offsides, it just gets a little bit too much. I really would love if they let a little bit loose and, you know, really look at clear and obvious things and not at those nitpicky things. I want to see that a foul in the box is called um, not because the hand went from the chest here where the player has no idea. I mean, yes, if you jump up that high and the ball hits you, that's a penalty. However, if you're heavy, if you're here and the ball comes from a chest, that's not a penalty. I'm sorry. Never should be. Uh, so that was for me uh, the negatives. The positive, of course, um, as I said, the level of play, especially the Europeans, really, really uh, impressive. I mean, uh, it really becomes a very watchable game. I, re I remember watching women's soccer back in the late 90s and thinking, it's not quite it, it's not that great. Um, I have I kept watching and you know there were the occasional good games and I especially say Olympics 2012 USA Canada that was a wonderful game I uh, also like how the Japanese team was playing um, you know this tiki-taka uh, women's style uh, but then you know you always had there were some games that were not all that great um, but 
the level generally pretty good and the European teams they are professional you can see that the European leagues are investing in women's soccer and that's a great thing uh, I wish that some teams from South America would get a lot more support um, same thing goes for Africa the African teams is, uh, are another big uh, plus especially Cameroon and Nigeria yes the exit of Cameroon was a little bit in infamy but that those teams made it to the next round that's a big big plus I gotta say um, and yeah I mean if the gap between the US and at least the European teams can be closed. I think we're looking at a veritable uh, one great tournament that's an absolute must watch. And I have to say during these last few weeks the Women's World Cup was more or less for me the most important tournament. Yes, I'm a sucker for the AFCOM. Uh, I, but given the stakes and I thought it was a very colorful, very wonderful tournament level of play really good um, I wish that some tactical decisions uh, would have been better especially France USA I think um, if the French coach would have reacted a little bit sooner uh, they would have given the US a run for the money not it was way too comfortable for, for the US in that one um, and yeah I think there was more in there the French are one of the disappointments, as is Australia to me, uh, where I expect a little bit more um, on the other side. Japan, maybe a little bit unlucky that they were eliminated by the, by, the, by the Dutch, but before that they didn't show. The positives were the South Americans, as I said, the Africans, and I was over the moon that Italy and the Netherlands had a really, really great tournament. Um, I cannot believe you how happy that made me. Uh, two nations, I mean a little bit of the Netherlands I expected, but from Italy I didn't expect anything. Um, I really hope that Spain will continue the upper strength. They were unlucky with the draw that you have to play the States. But hey. Uh, and yes, I think the biggest positive is, not nah, biggest positive, but the most impressive feat was that the States won it. It looked comfortable without overstretching them. Uh, they're still the class and they did it the hard way. I think you will hard, be hard pressed to find any World Cup winner that had such a tough road to the final. Not in the group stage. Thailand, Chile, that was easy. Sweden, that was easy. But as soon as the Noka stage ran, uh, they really showed that they are the best team. I hope the others will catch up. It was a little bit... Uh, Predictable. I think um, everything except the US was really fun for the watch. The US were a little bit too predictable, and yeah, that's how it is. Anyway, uh, thoroughly enjoyed the Women's World Cup. I'm looking forward to the Euros. That's probably the next big women's tournament that I'll I'll be watching. I probably will make a point of watching the Women's Champions League, at least the Women's Champions League final. I really would love to do that, and you know. Have to get we have to give more love to the women's game i want to end this uh, video now with impressions from all the games all the screenshots that i collected during the world cup to kind of pass through the entire tour tournament again i hope you will enjoy <laughs>
Rosa 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and others, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.